In today's video, we are going to talk about how to fix a plugged in USB drive not showing up in Windows 10 Fast. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, I'll show you some of the solutions that you can apply in order to get the rid of this problem. First of all, open the settings of your Windows 10 and then go to your update and security. From here, make sure you check your system for the updates because there can be any update that is needed to be installed and with that update, you can have the solution of your problem because sometimes it's all because of the update. After you are done with this step, check your system if the problem is solved or not. If not, don't worry, we have another solution. Well, open File Explorer and here you can see I only have two partitions. Right click on your this PC and click on Manage. From here, under the storage, we have Disk Management. Just click on it and it will show you all the partitions that you have in your system. Now you can see I have one more partition with almost 30 gigabyte of space, but it was not showing up earlier. Right click on it and click on change drive letters and paths. From here, we'll change it. So just click on change and from here, click on this drop down list. And from here, you can select any name. But make sure do not use the one that have been used earlier in your system. Let's say I go with I and then click on OK. Click on Yes. And now just close this one. And here you can see now we have one more partition available. If I go to my this PC, here it is showing up. So this is another solution that you can try out. If it doesn't work as well, do not worry. Go to your start menu, right click on it and from here go to your device manager. Now just maximize this and here if you see we have some of the devices that are unknown. Right click on each one of them and click on uninstall because they might be the one preventing your system from detecting your USB and stopping it from working. What I'll do I will uninstall all of those that have caution along with them. So I'll just uninstall this one and I will uninstall this one as well. I'm good to go. Well, you can also have this kind of caution under your universal serious bus controller. Just expand this one, but I do not have any one of these at this moment. Now, after you are done with this step, look for hardware changes. For that, click on this button that says scan for hardware changes. It will check if there is any hardware chain in your system and most importantly and most probably it will detect your USB and it will start to show up. After this solution, stay in your device manager and this time what you need to do, you need to come under universal serious bus controller and here if you see here it says USB mass storage device. Just right click on it and from here, click on disable device because sometimes we get the solution after just re-enabling the device. So I'll just disable this one and after that what I'll do, I'll re-enable it again. So let it get disabled and then I'll enable it. So we have successfully disabled it. Now I'll right click on it again and I'll click on enable device and now it will enable it and most probably I will get the rid of that problem. We are done with this step as well. Now, what you need to do after that, go to your disk drivers and here you can see we have drivers for our USB. First one is from journal your disk and second one is Samsung. So what you need to do here, you can update both of them or you can uninstall both of them. And after that, when you will restart your system, your system will detect for all the hardware changes and it will ask you or it will install these drivers on its own. So this is one other solution that you can perform and you can try out. I'll just get out of this and at last what you can do, 
you can try using other ports in your laptops or in your system because there might be a hardware problem with your ports that you are using for your USB. So make sure to check that one as well and I'm sure that your problem will be solved. And that brings us to the end of this video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.